We're again asked to multiply a binomial, but there's no special formulas for this one. I just have to go ahead and use FOIL, multiplying first, outer, inner, and then last. So that's going to give me the first term, 2 square root of 8, times the other first term, 4 square root of 12, plus the outer two terms, 2 radical 8 times 5 radical 15, the inner terms, plus negative 3 radical 6 times 4 radical 12, and then finally the last terms, negative 3 radical 6 and 5 radical 15. Okay, now I just need to go on and do some multiplication and some simplification. 2 times 4 is 8. Square root of 8 times the square root of 12 plus 2 times 5 is going to give me 10 times the square root of 8 times the square root of 15 plus this is going to be negative 12 times the square root of 6 times the square root of 12 plus negative 3 times 5, so it's negative 15 square root of 6 times the square root of 15. So this is a lot to keep track of. Um, just be very careful and double check along the way. So here I'm going to use the product property to rewrite this as 8 times the square root of 8 times 12 plus 10 times the square root of 8 times 15. To make this simpler, I'm, instead of saying plus a negative 12, I'm just going to say minus 12 square root of 6 times 12 minus 15 square root of 6 times 15. Okay, doing some multiplication. 8 times 12 is 96 plus 10. 8 times 15 is 120. 6 times 12 is 72, and 6 times 15 is 90. Now, once you're done multiplying, simplify. So remember, multiply, then simplify. So let's factor out the perfect squares. So I definitely have some perfect squares here. Remember that 96 is the product of 16 and 6. 120 can be rewritten as the product of 10 and, uh, excuse me, 4 and 30, the product of 4 and 30. So this is 10 radical 4 times 30. 72 is the product of 36 times 2. And then 90 is the product of 9 times 10. Factor out these perfect squares, or not, excuse me, not factor out, take the square root of the perfect squares. So that's going to give me 8 times 4, because so the square root of 16 is 4. What's left behind is a radical 6. Square root of 4 is 2. Left behind, square root of 30. Made a little error here. That is actually 12, not 120. So that is 12. Again, important to check back. So I have 12 times 6, square root of 2. And then square root of 9 is 3, and that leaves square root of 10 behind. So just kind of double checking over to make sure that no errors were made, OK? Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply these out. 8 times 4, that's 32. 10 times 2 is 20. The radicals are just staying the same. 12 times 6 gives me 72. And 15 times 3 is 45. Now I'm going to stop and see if I can simplify this any further. And I look and I don't have any perfect squares that I can pull out from under the radical. And I don't have any like radicals. If I did have like radicals, I would add or subtract those, but I don't. So this is as far as I can go. 
So in order to simplify this, I had to use FOIL, and I multiplied my first, my outer terms, right here, the inner terms, and the last terms. And then I used the product property to rewrite these as follows. Went ahead and multiplied. And then when I finished my multiplying, then I simplified, starting at this step, by factoring out the perfect squares, and then taking the square roots of each of those using the product property. Once that was done, I just had to multiply what was outside each radical to get my final answer. And that concludes this lesson for educator.com.